Welcome back guys to Child of Light as we explore the plains of Ramber's wind wheels. With Nora now in the party as well, so an older sister has joined us. We wonder exactly how to get to certain treasure chests around here that seem completely unreachable by means that we've tried thus far, so if we're going anywhere, it must be back. Now can I get to the point where I can... No, I can't get the trap. Uh, settle down. Ooh, a little bit of a dash there will get me out. So if anything, what we're exploring, what we're trying to get to, is probably more this away. There's a treasure chest right down here, though. With the monsters respawning due to not playing. What have we got going on exactly? We should explore everywhere and anywhere. Well, we've got a box over here. A door over here, which is possibly the way I should have been going. And a precious wish to open it, so we know what to do with that box now. That's not a problem. Oh, confession! Flying around as well. We'll read, we'll read that soon enough. Hello, Piggy. We've already illuminated you, haven't we? Oink, indeed! Are we looking for any more goodies around? That's not Achilles. Can we be certain, please? I saw no illuminations happening. So, of course, we've been up this area with the archer and got that chest, but is there anything more in the sky? There is indeed. So we get some lot elixirs here, and now let's start pushing this box, I guess. We know where the pressure switch is. But mind you, getting that was a bit more difficult than I would have thought at the time. Okay, the waterfalls are going to gush me downwards. Which is never a good thing, but if I gush straight past... That'll be another treasure chest for us, some firefly elixirs. Not that we seem to be using any potions, of course. Right. Let's settle down, push this on the switch, and get moving on. I'm wondering what kind of traps we've got as well. Right, another door over here, down... Oh, ah, whoa! Just realized in time there. Well, either way, we take three rough emeralds, and start our path upwards. Right, doesn't seem to be anything more than a switch there. But we'll take the magic happily. Now that switch opens the door, so basically all we've managed to do is make a shortcut re through the middle without having to go down through the traps. Not exactly a bad thing, you've got to say, but I was expecting goodies as well for my troubles. And that just brings us back out this way. Hello, rock guy. All the pigs, but none of them illuminate, of course. Right. So, time to continue onwards from here. And check to see any treasures, my dear. Any confessions or anything like that? I'll check every nook and cranny, that's for sure. But what's up with Nora? And the mirror, I fear it is there. That temple up in the air. We cannot fly that high. Perhaps there's a path through the sky. Let us ask someone nearby. Indeed. Alright, someone nearby you say? Are you the pig we're looking for? It seems you do not glow yet again. There's some kind of weird hermit crab. I'm not certain Achilles this is. No, it's not. Illuminating ink is hide misses. Where do I go first for treasure? Well, we've got ourselves a door to open up yet again. Nothing up in the sky. We can't pass over it. Oh, hello. Nicholas, light it up. I'll take some more magic potions and then I guess get into battle versus Rock Dude over here. He's very good at flying high after all. Phew! I just dashed under him in time. Nice to see you, rock friends. Let's have our lady out first, because she's got the highest defense as a whole, so she could really act as our overall, well, quick character. Let's put it that way. Hmm, should I cast Quicken first, maybe? Maybe I should. If we speed increase you, we might get you to act twice and really put pay to these guys. Big fireball, but it's not enough to win. But surely I can get in there and hopefully petrify. In fact, if I switch over now, we might be able to just knock you out before anyone gets to attack. No, you did get to attack first, and you attacked both of us. How dare you! Alright, we know we're gonna get hit no matter what, or not. Well, all the same, I think our wife. No, actually, I think I'll cast a spell on you, sir, because you can't have much on you at the moment. No, you actually survived for another round? I can't believe that much, but we'll take care of our 
rocky friend. And then maybe get acting with a quick knock. Not enough to defeat you at the moment. But if I gather myself some more energy and get back to healing, this petrify should do the job. No? Really? Well, that said, it seems I can get myself another knock. He's going to be chained for devastation. We must have been so close to defeating him at that moment. The Nora nearly levels up. Our lowest member at the moment in terms of levels, but that defensive power that you have is quite useful. We really should pick up some more magic after that. Make sure to always have it available. Now, can I get below us? That's one question I have. Doesn't seem like a way. All that we can do is head inside and check out for secret tricks and traps, though it seems our only option is to go upwards. Let's open the door. No, no way further. And rearrange it ever so slightly. Because we need it to be this way. Alright, let's claim some more magic for Finn there. Always the best thing to do. Though, where's the little things gone? They've completely disappeared. Whoa, dash. Okay, we're coming out that side, not that one. Whoa. Oh, I got hit by an arrow? I wasn't expecting that. Well, all the beasties come, that's for sure. And I'm going to get hit quite a lot first. I might be armoured or whatever it says, but still, I'm not liking taking those hits. Now, could I stop you before you actually get to attack? No, it doesn't look like it, unless Petrify can get there first. No. The Gathering Strength was your option, was it? Seems to me I'm going to need Finn to do a lot of spells in this battle. Thankfully, he takes out opponent number one. Ow, poor Finn. Getting bashed galore. But Nora's got the defenses to take a little bit of damage. Right, this should lead to an interrupt. In fact, if we go for a monsoon, we should be looking at two. And a paralyze as well as an interrupt. It's a shame he'll get to cast again, that's for sure. By the look of it, I should act in defense. Being able to heal up a Nigulus this way is really nice, to be honest. Right, who's attacking next? It's you, isn't it? Well, we better interrupt that. Because hopefully your Petrify can take out the back rows. Best to leave the damage a little bit backwards. I didn't want it coming in right then. Right, Finn. Get casting. Well, this should interrupt fine. I don't need to slow you down. Actually, I should look at restoring Nora's HP a little bit more, but with another level up, we are fine. Well, those guys give tons of experience as well. Right, you may have got me with the arrow, but I live to fight another day, and I claim myself some more itemry as well. Strength Stardust. Alright, nothing else this path, though. And I think we found who we're looking for. Achilles, we have him! He's stubborn, nab him! I'm trying to. The famous flying mint-hunting pig, I presume. Let's to the Kapili Huntress Zoom. Well, you say that, but if I go back now, it's going to be a lot of travelling to get back to this area. So with that said, I think we'll skip back at another time. In fact, I think I might pick up the charm time now, because that will make Nora a lot more helpful. In fact, we're fr freezing Aurora out of our battles, which is a bit weird. we got Strength Stardust here, which I do want to put on Aurora because of her Slash All ability. Maybe I should put it on... Nora, considering her defensive powers, and if I wanted to lead front lines, for example, with those, might not be a bad idea. Look at her dodge as well and all that. Might be a good idea to power her up a bit. Magic Stardust, though? Hmm. Well, my magic is pretty good. I like Finn's magic up. Actually, I'll go with more of mine. Even myself out near to Finn. Make myself a jack of all trades. Got ourselves a pig being carried around. What an unusual sight. 
Ow! Didn't quite get through there in time, did I? But it seems it's opened up that door nicely. Ah, those were where the other ones were. Well, with Nicholas, I'll claim the magic from that. Gotta always top up Finn after all. Only, always only one magic, but no confessions up on high. In fact, we have ourselves a confession to read, do we not? Well, we know you're not the right guy. We've already got our pig. I'll claim a rough ruby times two. And then get into battle. Right, that is a lot of enemies, that's for sure. How do I want to act here? Well, wildfire for the back rows. And then maybe switch to Aurora to go for multiple hitting? With fire as our element? Would that be a not a too bad idea? We might need to slow this guy down a little bit though. I don't think between the two of them they're going to be able to... Oh, that's a fast spell, but we get an interrupt there. Run of fire, we knock him down. Slash all is never really that bad an idea, is it? Alright, we can't attack multiple targets with someone at the moment, which would be handy if we could. Hmm. Let's get Nora back in. The reason for that is hopefully... We could try to status affect them both and slow them down. But no, actually, that cat's a long time. I should have noticed from the overall thing. Set back a long way. And if they're both flinging... Oh my goodness. This could be a very hard fight indeed. Alright, lulling them is probably not a bad idea. And going for slash all might cause a double... Whoa, not a double interrupt because he's going first. I'm in danger. Danger I am indeed. Well, I can go more than once at this point in time. I underestimated our foes, that's for sure. We do have ourselves, of course, revive tonics. And for the long run, what we've done with the lol might help us out a long way, but all the same... I'm not liking this whatsoever. Right, we've got ourselves one near low HP. And we should from that be able to sort out our enemies. But all the same, that was damage I did not want to be taking. That was pretty much a mistake in how I approached that battle, though the lol all was super useful, really, if you think about it. Alright, so we got to go through that cave, have we? But where did... Oh, our things ended up down there. Well, I'll claim more magic. Get away from my treasure chest, sir. The Nora still needs some more topping up, that's for sure. It's a little bit more of a favourable battle to us, in fact. Ah, that's problematic. I don't really want you in there. Hmm. Let's go with a light ray on you. And a petrify as well. This is me hoping to knock out one opponent fast as anything. Which it did work indeed. Now, however, getting there first on this attack seems a bit of a different story, so defend. Well, defend worked quite well with the dodge included, so that worked well. I'm quite surprised. For once, strategics worked in our favour, and we can really start nuking with this. In fact, if he doesn't get petrified here, slowing him down for some more interrupts might be the way to go. Now we can just use our second level slash to do even more damage with the fire weakness. That's how we do it. Oh, quickly claim that. More stuff for Ignigulus and more levels for our party. In fact, three levels. Phew. Okay. Battle done. Treasure chest gain. In fact, that resets a lot of people's HP and magic, so that's even better than you would expect. So many treasure chests, but we're going to miss stuff along the way if we keep moving too fast forward. That's for sure. So, more skills to add to the party. Should I take Starlight finally and add myself another spell? I think I shall. 
And then, on top of that, Finn, we were taking you towards your next lightning strike, hoping to get you lightning all, because that seems to be the only kind of lightning spell or all spell you have apart from... Oh, no, you have wildfire all. Oh, you do have an all of anything. Whoops. That's a bit of my noticing things, isn't it? Right, should we take you towards your second level charm? Or extra quickens? Hmm. In fact, this unstoppable and all that seems good as well. So many nice abilities on you. In fact, I might go petrify all because, well, petrify all. There's so many choices, so many choices. Well, with that said, we have ourselves anything to put on? No, we're cool. Still got the confession to read, that's for sure, but we can get to that. Alright, secret passageway. Obvious, obvious. Slow the trap down, Ignicholas. I'm going for a treasure chest. Rough ruby times two. And we did... Whoa, I say we gust back upwards, but with the water there, not so much so. Alright, let's go down this waterfall and see if there's anything on the other side. Come back here, magic! We found ourselves another shrine point. What a peculiar shrine again. Perhaps at one point it was a sign. You keep saying that, but I'm not so sure. Alright, up into the sky. But nothing to be found. Maybe we'll find something down on the ground. Who's that on my land? Come here, little band. Okay, I'll come here, but I'm a bit worried about you. You're not going to attack me, are you? Madame Kabili, pardon me. A route to the elevated temple we seek. Don't you madame me, I ain't like them towny Kabili. Don't trust them, I'm not some mint freak. Did you ever ask yourself, why does it taste cold? They won't tell you, I have my theories. I appreciate the warning, but I really should be going. Wait, I see your karaokeuli, I'll give you a series. Okay. You want to protect yourself? Here's a tip they won't give, nah. You can combine oculi to make more powerful ones. You go figure out ha! I'm having no problem with that. You can also assign oculi to lose your trust. I recommend sharing. Now get out of here, little girl. I don't like the way you're staring. Well, not the way you're staring, but I'm fine with being given quite a nice chunk of oculi there. All right, up to the town of Bombers Populi is that way. What's so low down, though? Well, we got fire spiders appearing now. A way to head apart from that. Seems I can't gust forward past this waterfall. So let's take you on. Hello, watery friends. Petrify all is so near to me, but at this point in time, I think I might attack the spider because I have already put a water gem on her. So that's not a problem for me. Right, apart from you, Finn, get out of here. Front row's Finn is never that good an idea. Front row's caster in any game is never a good idea. But if I slow you down, I'm expecting I might just be able to interrupt you. Depends if Finn's strong enough to take this down in one shot. And he is indeed. No actual petrify there, but with all that said, a knock will set him back once more. Won't have to use even more magic at this point. Oh, but countering physical attack. With a guard, of course. Another knockback. And a critical hit wins us the game. Maybe not the whole game. Still, Rubella levels up. More skill points for the party. And even more oculi. Alright, apart from that, it seems I'm up to this new city by the look of it. Where was the sign? It was basically pointing up here, but we can't actually lay to rest there. There's nothing in the sky. No more confessions. It seems it goes further from this point, though. Nah! Don't get gusted down. I'll take this treasure chest. Quicken elixirs times two. And then find out what's in here. It seems to me that we've got ourselves more secrets. More secrets indeed. Always makes you wonder if we're going to walk in on a boss at some point in time. For that reason... I think I might end the episode here. You never know when we will. But for that, we've got ourselves one more skill to put on, of course. Rubella, what should we put you on next? Hmm. Let's keep going up this way, because of course, tumble all. It's one step. One step. 
And apart from that, of course, we have ourselves a confession to read, do we not? Let's read it to end the episode's story time with Olazandri. Smoke boils black, fire slides on twin sticks of ice. Through cities hot, ideas dance in the bars at night. Oculi unheard of, forgotten light, invention shapes an engine, dream device. London's exhibition halls visited thrice, the salons of Paris lit with paintings bright. Munich makes music of transcendent might, these wonders of Europe more than entice. But between glimmering bowls most wonder lost, the men here come and go, cloaks tight in distrust. The women tie their throats shut, all know only cost. One wears red, one blue, in flocks split they rust. Only the few whose gaze burn clear of frost, I will with Lemuria's secrets trust. So many confessions, so little time, so much poetry going on in the game. But as we level up more and more and continue to forge forward, finding secret doors everywhere. I'll see you next time for more Child of Light. Bye bye